Now, I'll start off with your uh, election campaign. You're an uh, independent uh, candidate, so I'll get you to talk a bit about uh, uh, your platform and why you're running. Uh, my platform will do me independent or... Yes. Yeah, yeah. I decided to run independent. As you, you know that, you know, uh, I made a comment for this gay profile on Facebook and then I was disendorsed by One Nation. So, you know, but I was going to run Jordan, but, you know, Pastor Phil Kudlev, or uh, said to me he's a plan to run as well. So, I mean, I said to him, there's no meaning that I stand against him. So I said, well, I will go back to Bandemba. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, th that's how I decided to run Bandemba. Yeah, and um, have you, obviously, uh, running as an independent, it's a, a big ask, because um, obviously you don't have the resources of a, a major party uh, behind you, but have you got uh, much support in your local community? Uh, yes, well, I'm getting my uh, volunteer together. Uh, of course, I would need, uh, you know, many more to put their hand up to her to, to support my campaign. Yeah. And uh, what are the uh, issues uh, that, that you're campaigning on, such as like what what policies would you like to see introduced at a, at a state level? Right, you know, um, the, mo the, 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 the most worrying me is, is, you know, our country has been sold. And that, that leading to the high cost of a power. You know, Queensland has the most the highest power bill in the in the world. And this is five, six times more, you know, than we usually pay since this uh, Labour government uh, take all, I mean take you know, take power from twenty twelve I mean twenty fifteen. So and then, you know, um, and housing price. It's gone up a lot as well, and that's all because we, the government, opened the border for you know, like uh, the government allowed ten-year multiple entry visa for Chinese people, and they come here, they can buy houses, they can buy our harbors, they can buy our uh, businesses, and they're just taking over everything. That makes me very worry that we're going to lose our power our country to them and as we as everybody know they are dictator country they have a dictator regime and now the student come here they're studying our new university they control our lectures university lecturer what they can say what they can say and which you know it's controlling our freedom of speech so we are gradually losing our country also our freedom well, it sounds like the, want... the issues up in uh, Qu uh, Queensland, you mentioned uh, energy and housing affordability. Um, I don't know um, qu uh, the issues in Queensland too well, but it sounds like you're facing the, the same problems as uh, that we are down here in Melbourne and also in our other major cities. You know, from, from, you know, from what I'm talking to people and also the local residents, you know, they find it very hard to to pay for the high rent, you know. It's all because the foreign investment here. They 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 bought how many percent? Forty percent of our properties. And then, you know, causing the price up and that make it hardship for all our uh, citizens. You know, it doesn't matter if it's in Queensland or in other state. You know, we, we have the highest rent cost and power bill in the world. And it certainly seems other, that in, um, Premier Anastasia Palaszczuk, she's still proceeding with that. Uh, I think she wants a 50% renewable energy target, just like uh, federal labour. She's still full steam ahead on this renewable energy bandwagon. You know, I don't think it's, the high power, the high cost of the power is related to this uh, renewable energy. I mean, it's all. Be I believe it's a because of privatizing our state businesses to to foreign investors, 
and so they control our the all the price and you know our economic so it it's it's all because the privatizing of the business the state businesses we should have our state businesses you know so the government have control you know, for the for the price but at the moment the government has no control and why do you feel that the major parties have um, failed Queensland? Obviously, uh, Labor's under Anastasia Palaszczuk has only been in for one term. Before that, uh, obviously, there was the LNP under uh, Campbell Newman. Uh, f- uh, why, uh, why do you think that they're not the answer? Well, you know, when they are stay in power for long, how... You know, the two party prefer, prefer if if the voters don't break that cycle, the corruption will always be there. You know, so when when things getting bigger, the cycle getting bigger, there's more corruption there. So if we can have a balance of a power in a parliament, that will reduce that opportunity for them to be corrupt. And also, these are Chinese communists. They they corrupt our government as well. You know, they 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 bribe our major parties, so you know they can sell our country to 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 them. And that's their plan. They they are using money instead of a bullet to invade our country, and people love it. They're falling into their trap. This is a very serious, you know, um, uh, issue that we are facing. But nobody can see that um, the cause of the, you know, uh, and the future, what kind of future we're going to face in. But this is their scam. They're, they're through um, uh, China Free Trade Agreement. They they are aimed to take over the world, not just Australia. Yeah. And uh, obviously it's it's difficult for or minor parties or independents to get the balance of power in Queensland because it doesn't have an... Uh, upper house so often what happens is uh, if a major party gets majority of seats they can just do pass pass whatever they want uh, unchecked well that's right so the system has to be changed yeah and then um, well but again the powers is in the voters hand so you know I really like to call for the voters to you know to be more careful with what they vote and to break the uh, two party preferred system and voting for minor parties and independent so that we can have a balance of power in the parliament so we can have a better change to make a better change for everybody not just you know people like me or pastor feel positive we are standing for the people not for ourselves This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.